What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back, and I shook the Pokeball. Pikachu, calm down. All right, so I tried to get Shiny Charmander. It did not go exceedingly well, and so we're going to progress through the story. I'll come back and get Shiny Charmander later. It's time for a little Diglett's Cave, so I'm going to assume construction is all done down here. I need to adjust my party, you'll see. We, uh, we in fact definitely leveled up, guys. I mean, look at that. We are crushing, crushing the game with Pokemon levels. <clears throat> but we gotta get our full party back in here. Chansey. The starters. War turtle. That's the wrong war turtle. There's the right one. I need to move all of my. I'll do it after this episode. I need to move all the Pokemon I want to use up to the top, because right now they're just kind of annoyingly in the way. The bottom. And where is Shiny Growlithe? I definitely need to move Shiny Growlithe up because <clears throat> I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna move him up to the top. Swap him with the Rattata because. It doesn't show you that they're shiny. And so it kind of makes things kind of wonky. And then now we can take out of the Pokeball. There we go. Shiny Growlithe is out and about. So I don't know if anything else other than Diglett spawns in this cave, but we already caught our Diglett and our Doug Trio, so we don't really need to fight them or catch them. Of course, I accidentally run into one. Alright, we'll catch one. <clears throat> I don't have a lot of Pokeballs. Like I said, I... <clears throat> I haven't been saving and then resetting if I don't find a shiny and X amount of Pokeballs. I've just been, you know... If I don't catch it, I don't catch it. That's on me. Um, I don't know. I haven't been doing a reset. Probably should. That's probably the smart move, but I haven't been. Tuck the old Diglett away. Oh my gosh, I accidentally ran one again. We're just going to skip this. Give up on that Pokemon. Diglett's cave is way longer than I remember. I don't want to waste great balls on these. I don't have Ultra Balls, so if I want a Shiny Hunt, it kind of re- is that? Okay, so Zubats can spawn down here. Alright, we are out of here. I've heard there's or that there's a tunnel even darker inside than this one somewhere. Somewhere out there. Alright, we're on Route 2. I'm going to guess there's an item back around here. Yep. Three great balls. Not great, not terrible. Nick! Remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. I'm so glad I ran into you. Why don't I show you a neat trick? Actually, no. It's a little too bright out here. Inside, I'll be waiting inside to show you. Whenever you're ready, Nick. So he's going to show me Flash. It's light in here. So you, so you came. Then let's get down to Brass Tracks. I've got something good to show you. Believe it or not, I have mastered the secret technique, Light Up. Now let me turn off the lights and... They're nice and dark. Now, if you calm your heart and breathe deeply, you will be able to sense your surroundings no matter how dark it is. See? It seems bright, even with the lights off. My keen focus spreads to those around me, you see? Here, I can teach you how to do it, too. Assistant? Uh, or... <laughs> huh? It seems Pikachu wants to learn it instead, Nick. What? And you say it already knows the secret technique chop down? 
I see. Professor Oak had mentioned it, but it really does seem that your Pikachu is special. Fascinating. Let me try to teach it. Here, let me turn off the lights again. Now, Pikachu, follow what I do. Calm your heart, breathe deeply, and sense your surroundings. Pikachu learned the secret technique, Light Up. Your Pikachu, it really is quite wonderful. Now use secret techniques to your heart's content. Since you're not, since they're not moves, you can use them even if your Pokemon doesn't have the energy to battle. Why is this kid in the corner looking at the calendar? You can get together, or you can get through Rock Tunnel if you use the secret light up. Do you know where the Rock Tunnel is? You'll find it if you head east from Cerulean City. So if you go to Route 11 or whatever. Oh look. Oh, Nick, did you learn how to use Light Up from Professor Oak's assistant, too? What? You didn't learn it, but Pikachu did? That partner of yours really is amazing, Nick. Hey, you know what? I actually know some place where you might be able to use it. Want me to take you there? No. Really? Well, okay. You sure you'll be alright? Yes, I'm, I'm good. Okay, just in case, though, let me give you directions. If you had to eat, I know how to get there. Yes, we know it's pitch dark and it's east of Cerulean City. I want to cut this down and see what's down here. It might not be anything, but I want to see. Hello. CP stands for Combat Power. Whoa, co okay. Thought she'd be much interested. She looked like she was like a special. I don't know. Where the heck am I? A leaf stone, nice. Um. Why? Pick it up. Super potion. So these just open up to places we've already been. I believe if we go over, cut, and then go up, that's Viridian Forest. Gotta chop this down again. Back into the cave. I think that was worth checking out. We got a leaf stone, super potion. I mean, now we gotta walk through all this. So I don't know how worth it it was, but it, it was worth. I mean, I don't really know what the leaf stone does in this game. Uh, what it evolves? Like, I know it evolves Leafeon and like Blossom into whatever final evolution Blossom is, but I don't remember what it does for this game. Maybe Gloom into Vile Plume. I bet it's Gloom into Vile Plume. That would be my guess. Uh, do you need it for, to go from Weeping Bell to Victory Bell? Alright, so we're back on Route 11. Now we can do some battling. Don't you like Route 11? The double ones in its name are so cool. And guess what? I'm the coach trainer on Route Double One. Think you can take me on? Yes. I won't hold back, yeah. I still feel over leveled. Like, I guarantee you, my Growlithe is higher than his Pokemon. It's not even. Oh, you have a Rattata. Ooh, buddy. So scary. Twenty-one. Yep, I'm higher level. Let's try Heat Wave. <laughs> oh, didn't get the one shot. Yeah, Growlithe might have a little bit harder time getting one-shots. It's just not quite high enough level. I wish if you fainted the other Pokemon, the attack that did damage to you wouldn't actually do the damage to you. Wow, you're strong. 2100 bucks. Thank you. Definitely need the money. We are lacking on the money. You're strong. You've got me in a good mood, so take these. Five Pikachu candies. Nice. If you use Pikachu candy, Pikachu will get much stronger. If you want to get candy for a specific Pokemon, try catching that species over and over or send them to the professor. Uh, 
Okay. I actually truly don't think we need to battle any of these people. We're still, like, massively overleveled. So I'm gonna save them, so when I need money, I'll have them. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Let, let's just put on Pikachu. We'll put on Pikachu. What is happening? It won't let me, there we go. Swap Pikachu and Growlithe. And we'll just one-shot everybody with Pikachu. Come here. Engineer Braxton. Yeah, electric type via electric type. Pikachu has more one-shot attacks built in. I mean, it's got Thunder Shock, Thunderbolt, and Thunder, which are all really one shots. I don't know if Double Kick will one shot. Probably not. Oh yeah, well. I mean, like level 18s, like that's so terrible. 118 experience. Engineer Braxton defeated. You're great. You beat me. A thousand bucks. I mean, that's that's pretty good. A thousand bucks is not bad. All right, we'll fight everybody. I need the money. I need the cash. Fwa ha ha! I have never lost. I don't believe you. Sailor Dirk. Wow, Sailor Dirk, you got water types. Well, GG, Sailor Dirk. It was fun. You're gonna get one shot by Thunder Shocks. One down. Ooh, Pikachu landed a critical attack. Ooh, Dirk's got a Machop. It's not another water Pokemon. Alright, let's do Thunderbolt. I think Thundershock would have been enough, but just to be safe. Make sure we get that one shot. Hunter 9. Beat Sailor Dirk. My first loss. Yeah, I highly doubt it, Dirk. You're terrible. Alright, let's go beat the kid. Let's go, but don't cheat. I wish there was a way to cheat. I would just cheat right here and now. If there was a way to cheat, you youngster Eddie. But you only have one Pokemon, and it's probably garbage. Oh, uh, Nidorino. Yeah, kind of garbage. Kind of trash. It's only level 16. Your Pokemon is terrible. I bet a Thundershock will beat it in one shot. Yep. Good night, Nidorino. 204 XP. Nice. Mew got to 32. Charmeleon to 31. Young Stretty. Huh? That's not right. Oh, Young Stretty, you gave me no money. Young Stretty, that's, that's some crappy prize money you just gave me. This dude will give me some money. I know that. I have never... I have never won before? What are you talking about, my dude? There's no way you've been on this route battling Pokemon and never won. Gentleman Wilco. We'll see how garbage your Pokemon is if you never... Oh, you have the Eevee exclusive. Vulpix. Growlithe is in... Let's Go Pikachu, and Vulpix is, is in Let's Go Eevee. So when I do start my Let's Go Eevee playthrough. Um, obviously, we'll do something. So I'll probably do a Fire Lock. Then we can have Flareon, Vulpix, Moltres, if I wanted Moltres. <laughs> 2100 bucks. I knew, I knew it, Gentleman Wilco. I knew you would be good for some cash. I knew it. Okay, we already fought that dude, so now we gotta go fight this dude. Hey, buddy. Hey, do you always turn off lights? Pretty much. 
I can't say the same for some people I know. Because my garage light is always on. Magnemite. What levels? 18? Alright, let's hit, um... I think a Thundershock... Uh, I probably should have gone Thunderbolt. This isn't gonna one-shot. Yeah, that was a mistake. I think Thunderbolt... I think Thunderbolt would have one-shot. Thunder definitely would have one-shot. That was a mistake on my part. I, I miscalculated how much damage I would do. Hundred sixteen Voltorb I'm just gonna use Thunder. I mean we have ten uses and I haven't been using it. Don't miss, thank you. This is one of the cooler attacks I've seen in the game so far. Just that devastating Thunderbolt. Pikachu land a critical hit, something about one praise. That skips really quick. Like, I'm not hitting the A button or anything on here. It's just skipping. 118. Party Pokemon. Engineer Bernie. Whoa! Kids nowadays are so strong. Thousand bucks. Three Pokeballs. Oh, it's Mr. Mime. It's Mr. Mime. New Pokemon. We gotta catch Mr. Mime. Win, lose, or draw. Bro, you are really, really messing things up. I gotta catch Mr. Mime. Gamer Hugo. Diglett. Wonder if I hit... I'm gonna have to hit Diglett with Thunder. Ooh, things have gotten a little dicey here. Can I one-shot the Diglett? Oh, it doesn't affect the Diglett. And it used Fissure, and I'm not affected by Di Fissure. <laughs> oh, is that a one-shot? It's a one-shot. I didn't think Double Kick would be a one-shot, so I didn't even try it. Pikachu 137. Gamer Hugo. Tch, didn't go my way. $3,000 Gamer Hugo. You are the man. All right, Mr. Mime. New Pokemon. I'm excited. I encountered a wild Mr. Mime. Stop moving around. You definitely get a Raspberry. Stop being the way you are, Mr. Mime. And what? I got the noodle throw. Oh my gosh, dude. Just hit it. And when you catch it. Okay. Alright. Oh, God. What was that? These throws are not clutch. I can't go for excellent throws as well with this thing. I was playing handheld, and that thing is so egregiously easy to hit handheld one sh one uh, one throw excellence every time. So easy. Mr. Mime's data added. Always practicing its pantomime act. It makes enemies believe something exists that really doesn't. Tucked old Mr. Mime away. Okay, we got another sailor, but we got an item up here. Super repel. Definitely not an item I want in this game. Ready to get out of here. What do we got? Five great balls. All right, that's a nice find. I'm the strongest among my friends. Are you now? Are you? Sailor Yasu. Slowpoke. All right, Pikachu. Level 18 Slowpoke. This seems like a nice time to use a little Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. And that's the one shot. Probably could have used Thundershock, but eh. 
I think I'm just gonna start using Thunderbolts and Thunder. I mean, rarely do I need to beat 25 Pokemon before I can refill my PP. Shh, Arr, my Pokemon need to be stronger. Only a thousand bucks? Come on, Sailor, you got a job. You should pay me a little bit more. All right. That rock looks suspicious up there. I raised my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. Yeah, I'm about to put the world of hurt on you, so you're gonna wanna go train those Pokemon some more. Last Tomo. Tome Tomoe? To I think it's Tomo. Jigglypuff. Level 16. That's just not gonna cut it. The Thundershock should one shot them out of here. There's one now. Need arena. Keep on battling. And this is a little bit stronger of a Pokemon. I'm gonna do a Thunderbolt. Thundershock probably would have been enough, but just being safe. 204. Party got the experience. Last Tomo defeated. Bye bye. Thank you and goodbye. 320 bucks. That's it. That's, that's it. Okay, Rock, you look suspicious. Got a free revive. I knew it looked suspicious. All right, good. No one's blocking my route. All right. Oh, we got Snorlax blocking our way. A Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep slumber or an uncontrollable. Oh, what? Hmm. You need the flute, but D don't you or don't you think it's hard to think up good names for Pokemon? But then again, why not just try out new nicknames every day until you get it right? Well, that is one way to look at it. You're aiming to reach Lavender Town, go through the rock tunnel. Huh. Oh, wants me to go rock tunnel, but I don't see rock tunnel. This is Diglett Cave. That's not rock tunnel. Where is rock tunnel? They mark it on my map. Not play with Pikachu. Oh, well, Pikachu looks happy now. Pikachu is probably bored of watching me just try to shiny hunt. Um, town map. Where is... La okay, so we're trying to get to Lavender Town. Diglett's Cave is found here. I don't actually know where I'm supposed to be going. We're supposed to be going to Lavender Town. Hmm. We don't want Diglett's Cave. I mean, obviously this isn't too difficult. I just gotta figure out. Let me go listen to what this guy has to say about this real quick. All right. If you're aiming to reach land, go through the rock tunnel. You can get to the rock tunnel from Cerulean City. Cerulean City. Cerulean City. Okay, we gotta go all the way back to Cerulean City. Okay. That makes, that makes logical sense. I thought, I was thinking that Ver, whatever. Lieutenant Surge's town. I thought that's the town it was in, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not seeing this. I didn't read that correctly. That's all it took. Go back, check, make sure. I thought Vermilion City was where it was at, and I was like, I'm not seeing it here in Vermilion City. 
that's because we need to go back to Cerulean. I love Pokemon music. I'm looking so forward to next year when the when a brand new full game comes out on the Switch. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I'm going to try to do content for this Pokemon game all the way through the year. Um, it's going to be kind of hard, but I think I'm going to try to do different videos. Whether it's shiny hunting or whatever I'm doing. Um, I'm going to try to do videos of Mono playthrough, Weblocks, stuff like that. Always have some sort of Pokemon series going on on the channel. And then hopefully next year, we'll get a really, really, really good full game. Because we got Sun and Moon, and then they didn't give us a new game. They gave us Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which isn't really a new game. I still need to beat my Ultra Sun, I think. I didn't even beat that. Okay, so I think this is where we need to be. You have a Pokemon with you. You're my easy target. What? How does that logic work? Wouldn't it be more sense if I just didn't have a Pokemon? Picnic or Alicia? Send out Eevee. The Battle of the Starter Pokemon. Only... Oh, ooh, your Eevee is more appropriate leveled. Ooh, Pikachu might get to 33 here. Gloom? I'll keep battling. Why not? I'm not afraid of Gloom. Hit it with the thunder. Wow. It wasn't a one-shot. So, after we get done with this fight, I'm going to go back and heal, and we're going to call it an episode. Uh, and then in the next episode, because I don't know how much this entails where we're going now. Uh, and I don't want to get, like, part of the way through and then have to quit. So, I think this is a good spot. We're at the 27-minute mark. We we did Route 11. There were a lot of trainer battles there. Yep, 33 for Pikachu. Nice. So, we're going to call it here after we get out of here. We're going to give Pikachu the candies, because we have those Pikachu candies. 422 Great Balls. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop in the bag. Candy jar. Pikachu candies. I like how it just boosts everything. It's kind of crazy. Really increases that CP. We went from 1,000... It increases it by 20 every time. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so we did that. And uh, I'll go ahead and heal the Pokemon. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. And the next one, we will take on Rock Tunnel, I believe is what it's called. Uh, and then we'll head towards Lavender Town. We're getting close to being able to go to the Go Park. And so I will be... I linked up my Pokemon Go account with my phone. And so in a future episode, we will be doing a full episode in the Go Park. Um, I'm really not trying to rush through the game, take my time, hunt shinies if I want to, do certain stuff like that. I'll probably start up Eevee here this next week so that we can have a more speedier playthrough. Because once I, in that, I'll just be catching one, I'll just be doing a monotype or a nuzlocke or a wedlock or something like that. So, yeah guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu.